I mean, look, we either believe this or, it's, or we don't. This Bible is either true or it's not. If it's true and whatever, if we have what they had, we can do what they did. Amen? Amen. But we're not going to get that by just being typical everyday little Christians that come to church on Sunday and go back home and live your you know, secular life the rest of the week. It doesn't work that way. You, if you are born again and you have the Spirit of God in you, you have power in you that wants to get out. But it can't if you have too many layers of you left. If you have too many layers of the world, too many layers of, of your secular reasoning, too many layers of news, everything that keeps the Spirit of God trapped inside. But if you stay focused on the Word of God, and this is what you read, and it's what you think, it's what you talk about, then he gets closer to the surface. And why? Because more of you is peeling away. But it's so much more exciting to have some new news tidbit than it is to tell people scripture that they've heard for the last 50 years. But I'll tell you what, it's the people that stay in the scripture that will be standing whenever all the dust settles. Why? Because if you stand on the word, the word will stand with you. If you're going to be, if, if your mind automatically goes to all these other stuff, then that's where you, that's what you believe. Right. Oh, no, no, no. I, I believe the Bible. I'm, I'm just staying aware of this other stuff. Well, you're more aware of it than you are of the Bible. You either believe the Bible or you don't. If you believe it, you're going to do it. But there has to be that break. There has to be that. Oh, I'll tell you what it is. You have to get fed up with being normal. Because it, it, normal doesn't work. You know, contrary to popular opinion, normal does not work. It's like Wigglesworth said, I, I want to get you to a place where you're no longer ordinary, but you're extraordinary. I want to get you to a place where you are fed up with being ordinary. He said, I want to get you to a place in the word where you will laugh at the impossible. Think about that. I, I can tell you different stories, different things I've seen in my own life, different things going on. But I can tell you, if you walk with God and you stay in his word and that word is foremost in your life to where this is what you live, it's what you breathe, it's what you talk about, then the impossible will happen around you. And when it does, you'll be amazed, but not near as amazed as the people that are looking at you and watching you. Why? Because they, they can't figure out how you can do that. Because to, to them, you're just, you know, this crazy person. You're just a person that's, doing, well, they're just religious or they're just off into this or whatever it is. Uh, then why do you go to them when you need help? See, people always, you, you're either helping or needing help. That's the way life is. And you have to decide if you're going to be a helper or if you're going to need help. And now's the time to be ready to help. Amen?